fusion security or say fusion security okay fusion security the fusion security will be working based on the roles it's a role based security the simple term what generally we use is role based access control In fusion what are the security are using role based access control for the ebs experts this is not new term okay our back we call we know like we have a user management application in uh, artwell also there we can okay we can grant the privileges based on the role which we assign but that is limited to very specific function mostly that is for web applications now oracle now the complete product is available in with a web user interface that is the reason everything they convert into role based access control let's talk about uh, more on this for better understanding so the fusion security basically works with the roles so concept wise we call as or back role based access control okay before we get into this uh, concept i should talk about ebs here it's a mandatory i should talk about it i'm taking ebs r12 we know very well in ebs how things can be handled let me take here and stop taking here i'll go with the r12 terms here r12 ebs so here we know like when you are working an r12 so we'll have a menus concept right menus within the menu we'll have a sub menu within the sub menu we'll have functions good so we'll have a menu within the menu we'll have a sub menu and within the sub menus we'll have a functions right so if if you want to give access to anyone it may be for specific menu or sub menu or functions what we do anyone can just answer to this question it, it it's a very very just the basic thing okay anyone i just i want to hear from someone that's all so if i want to give access to menu or sub menu don't think i'll be asking this kind of basic questions but just since this is a concept i want to focus on this more okay see if i want to give access to menu or sub menu or functions how we can do in ebs any answer uh we will create the responsibilities yes okay i'll create uh, please will. you can stay on the line we'll create the responsibility okay i created responsibility can i give access to any user after creating the responsibility responsibility has to assign to the user okay i assign the responsibility to user can user can use it proper for profile options has to be set in the responsibility level exactly done done that's all uh, that that is the point so we we'll, we we'll have to create responsibility okay uh, thank you okay responsibility how to create after creating responsibility also directly you cannot use particular application related menu or sub menu or function we have to assign profile option through profile option primarily when you talk about finance we'll assign primary ledger or operating unit for depending on application definitely primary ledger and operating unit if you talk about ou specific you have to assign primary ledger and ou if you talk about only gl you can assign only primary ledger that means we are creating responsibility we are assigning the primary ledger and ou or primary ledger or primary ledger to responsibility then only you can use it why we are creating responsibility here the concept is why we are creating responsibility the reason why we are creating responsibility is without responsibility concept you cannot have access to this with the responsibility concept logically you can just take these points into responsibility you can connect these two responsibility so that user can connect to responsibility through the responsibility whatever the data he has access data in the sense primary ledger and operating unit through that they will be work, able to work on these functions okay so that is the reason we are creating to connect to menu or sub menu or functions only we are using responsibility because without responsibility concept you cannot assign you cannot assign primary ledger or operating unit to any one of these components so to establish the connectivity between the menu sub menu or functions and primary ledger and operating unit we should use responsibility now in the fusion to connect these similar concepts with this kind of primary ledger or operating unit responsibility is not required in the fusion they made it very simple let's talk about it okay done so here i'll talk about fusion so in ebs case we have menus sub menus functions responsibilities primary ledger the fusion equal to menu equal to menu 
in fusion we have job roles okay job roles what we can have within the menu sub menus functions again menu will be specific to particular application right in the same way in fusion equal to menu will have a job roles and in eps we have sub menu equal to sub menus in fusion we have duty roles and here we have a functions here also we'll have a functions or you can call as here privileges that is not a big point to compare and discuss here we'll have a functions in within the sub menu we'll have a functions and fusion also will have a functions and all functions or privileges you can call here we have a responsibility here we don't have no responsibility and here what we are doing we are assigning the primary ledger or operating it to business units okay here i'll take in this way our better understanding we'll have a responsibility finally we have to assign responsibility i mean primary ledger and our operating units to responsibility this is how it works in the uh, artwork right so that means there is a point to understand to responsibility we have to assign primary ledger wherever it's required primary ledger and operating depending on which application responsibility so we don't have a responsibility concept in fusion but equal to this this concept is not there means which way where primary ledger and operating will get connected with this menu or sub menus related to particular application how it works equal to this means combination of responsibility and primary ledger are operating it here otherwise instead of taking response i'll take the combination of menu or sub menus and do primary ledger and operating here we have concept called as data role uh, I request you all to mute uh, somebody's unmuted. I can hear a lot of noise. Venkat, please. Thanks. Okay, here we have a concept called as data role. Okay, data role is equal to in the data role. What happens is it's equal to job role plus primary ledger or BU. In fusion, we operating it we call as BU, right? So this is the point. Okay, this is equal to responsibility where primary ledger and operating it is assigned. Now in EBS, what we'll do? This responsibility will be assigning to user in the same way in fusion. This data roles will assign to user. I'll take one simple example. Job role is one of the job role is payables manager. If I take job row, uh, menu in EBS for payables is AP Navigate GUI equal to AP Navigate GUI in Fusion we have a payables manager. Now if I have a primary ledger simply I'll be taking it I'll take the one job role here as I mentioned here job role plus primary ledger. I'll take the job role called as payables manager. I'll be connecting primary ledger only prime in case of payables manager definitely primary ledger and BU. i'll be connecting this combination payables manager is one of the job role in fusion and i'll be just mapping assigning primary ledger and business unit this combination we call as data role that means this payables manager can have access to the specific bu data when you access to that payables manager role you'll be able to work on work for specific bu that means data this is the role is Payables manager, this payables manager role can have access to which data? Okay, which it can primary ledger also can call it as specific data. So BU. Since we are talking about payables, I'm focusing on BU only. That's the meaning of data role. Okay, so now what we have to do this combination we have to assign to user. In EBS, prior we'll be assigning the primary operating units or primary ledger to particular responsibility. In fusion, you don't do that. So data roles are created by system automatically based on the act configuration which you do that will be discussing more detail level now the simple point is in the fusion we have a job roles duty roles and data roles and just i'll finalize this discussion so we have basically four type of roles in fusion everything work, works based on roles only in fusion applications four type of roles we have those four type of roles are the same i'm going to list out job roles duty roles data roles abstract roles okay they are the four type of roles we have 
job roles are equal to EBS menus, duty roles are equal to EBS sub menus, data roles are equal to the combination of responsibility and primary ledger and operating unit when you compare with EBS and abstract roles. It's a simple employee role we call as abstract role. We don't need to do anything with this. That's how the application logic purpose they created abstract roles. You don't need to go and work on abstract role. Primary will be working on job role, duty role and do data role. For these roles only based on application. In the different application, the same roles will be calling with the different names also that will be discussing very detail level in further classes. So this is a point to understand. This is equal to menu. Duty role is equal to sub menu EBS comparison. Data role is equal to responsibility and primer ledger and operating it. Absolutely. So and out of these job roles are oracle delivered means oracle is providing as a seeded predefined and the duty roles also you can get from oracle which are predefined which will be part of the sub menu and available to yeah, that will discuss data roles here we have two options generally the system will create if required as per a requirement you can create the custom data roles also abstract roles are delivered by oracle only okay so these are the points to understand and i have a few questions here so let me go through it. Um, I'm not able to hear anything from beginning onwards, Ramesh. Uh, yes, he is able to see the screen. Now, even if I say you cannot uh, hear that, uh, let me type some test saying that. Please reconnect. Hi, Ramesh. Please reconnect. Hope you can see this test and you can take that action. Okay. And uh, fine. Satya, HR user type is equal to HR uh, employee abstract role. HR user type is profile option. I'm not comparing that. Here it's not profile option related. We'll, we'll discuss about it. Not equal. To give the answer for your question, HR user type is not equal to employee abstract role. No. It's a different. We'll discuss. System profile. Yeah. No. Okay. No. Okay, so these are the points here. Okay, so we can create our custom roles. However, we can create the custom menus in EBS in the same way. Custom roles we can create in Fusion environment. And when I talk about data roles, data roles are created by system. So you no need to go and assign your primary ledger or business unit to particular menu, or particular job or duty role job role or duty role that can be created with system if at all you have a specific requirement as per your business process requirement accordingly you can create anyway that section also we are going to cover in our classes now any questions on this topic you can post and we can discuss because a very important thing to start with our application learning any questions on this at least there should be a few questions minimum any questions Hope everyone can hear me. Okay. No questions? Lakshman. Yeah. So typically you would create a... Sorry. Any question please? Yeah, please, please. I'm there. Yeah. So Typically, uh, in an organization, we create multiple responsibilities in 12. Right? Yes. Similarly, what you are saying is uh, you will create different types of uh, data roles mm. by custom by creating different job roles mm. and assigning the primary ledger and the yeah simple ledger. simple yeah let okay. let's make it simple as per our requirement. However, we create different responsibility in EBS in the same way we'll create different data roles. Simple. To create different data roles, you may use, you may create an, on top of job role or duty role directly. For say payables, complete payables, you require access. On job role, you'll create the data role. Otherwise, on specific duty role, you'll create the data role. That's all. In EBS, you can create multiple different uh, responsibilities. In Fusion, you can you have to create different data roles as per your requirement. That's all. Got it. Okay, great. Fine. See, questions are always welcome because I love to hear the questions and uh, if somebody wants to understand some clarification required, uh, 
just you can post me as many questions as you want to post but i know i i i believe that they'll be asking good questions uh, so far i can see very good questions okay any questions please or else we'll jump into the next concept so what are the mandatory uh, like in 12 you have three profile options ah, no no yeah, yeah come on yeah i got your point i got your point so no profile option required to set up enterprise structure no profile option is required so without the setting up single profile options we can complete entire configuration we can do the transaction process also rarely we use a different depending on some future or function or controlling purpose rarely we may use an ebs also the same here also you can use but generally we don't use profile options not required that's how they uh, just uh, build this product and the, the how it works okay we'll see that but uh, to answer your question no mandatory profile option to implement your finance done 